Hello everybody. So you know how in this channel when, when I'm talking to you, every now and again I'll have to look over to the side because that's where the script is, right? Well, I think I sorted that problem out because I've now got a teleprompter on my iPad so when I'm reading it, I can literally look at the camera and see what I've got to say at the same time. So this video is the first time trying it. Uh, let me know if it works, let me know if you think it doesn't work, right? And let's get started. So this video is all about church, my experiences, okay? So throughout my life, I've been going to church at different times. Like, sometimes I went more, and sometimes I barely went, right? There are loads of, loads of reasons for this, so that's what this video is about. And let's start. We'll start from the very beginning. Now, when I started Boys Brigade at around age 7 to 8-ish, right? Now, I really can't remember exactly, like, I wouldn't go to church because I didn't have to at that age, you know? Like, it all seemed really boring, right? And the only exception to this, right, the only exception to this was definitely Remembrance Sunday, where we have to, we have to all wear our boys' brigade uniform and we'd march, right? You'd march for an hour around the town in a circle whilst they shut off all the uh, roads. So cars couldn't go by, uh, go by and, you, and they, they're all watching you, right? Now, when I would go to a youth group, right, uh, this was also run by Boys Brigade now, okay. We would go to church, right, on the first Sunday of every month. And that is, um, that's when we would, like, go on trips, such as swimming and ice skating, uh, bowling, etc, 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 right. So that was really fun. And uh, around the age of 11 to 12-ish, right, I was, uh, I was what's called baptised and confirmed, right. Now, what that is, is essentially confirming your faith in God and to the church. Now, I did this because I thought that uh, it would be cool. And I thought, well, why not? And also because, uh, well, because at first it was a bit boring, right? Now, it was, a, it was weekly sessions where you read the Bible. But then at the end, what you would do, you'd go on what's called a uh, a pilgrimage, right? And on that, on that pilgrimage, you visit multiple churches... Uh, and you visit lots of uh, Christian landmarks and iconic locations. Now, it might sound boring to you because, you know, you're busy playing on your latest console or phone or whatever, right? But it was actually really fun. Then I got baptised and confirmed by the church. I got given a yeah, badge, which I always put on my Boys Brigade um, armband thing. We have all your badges. Uh, there was a party and a buffet. Now, it's no secret on this channel that I love a good buffet, right? And also, around this time, I was starting to get into what's called bell ringing. Uh, you know, like, it, it, in a church, there's a tower full of bells that chime, and you can hear them when you're inside, and you can hear them from, like, miles away, right? Well, yeah, I was I was doing that. I mean, I still do it occasionally, right? And I, I used to get paid to do bell ringing, and it is a great workout exercise, right? And I was also serving as uh, helping the vicar at the time, like, during the services. Like, I'd pass cups. I'd bring uh, bring bread and wine. I'd bring all the things that they needed me to, right? And because of the fact that I was baptized and confirmed, I got to have some of the uh, bread and some of the wine. The wine is really really nice, right? Honestly, it's it's amazing. But yeah, I'd have to get the certain things for the wine and the equipment for the vicar and ring the handbells for before the food was shared. And th there was always a queue, and then I'd have to ring them for about five seconds. It sounds boring again. But it was actually fun. And the people you meet are really nice, honestly. However, around this time, I was busy with school and a show, right? I was really busy, so church wasn't possible with my timetable, right? With, well, with practising the the, uh, the shows and having to learn the scripts, practising the show, but whatever. Then the vicar left and we had a new vicar. Everything was chaotic. I stopped serving and bell ringing for a while then, right? And then... When I was practising for my uh, show, Godspell, that's what the show was called, right? The one that I've made a whole series on by here, right? Church and bell ringing stopped altogether because I was practising for the show. And that's when I found out that I was starting in the show. So I had to put my, my priorities onto the show, right? Every week we had four practices. One of them was always on a Sunday. It was totally worth it though. My first show that I starred in, apart from nursery and primary school, but they're not proper shows, right? 
Now, after this show, I would like going back to, to church on the first Sunday of, the, of every month and bell ringing. I tell you what, I missed that wine. That wine was, oh, it was it's amazing. I miss it. Now, I doubt I'll serve again, helping the vicar and all, because of school, tests and stuff. But it's a nice memory, and it's nice to know that it existed. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Have a good day. Don't forget to drink hot chocolate. Goodbye.